Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Rest Talk Straight from Japan and today we're going to do a video review of Saint Seiya Odin's God Warriors Alpha Robe, also known as Dube Alpha Siegfried. I know that's a lot of mouthfuls and it's, it's a big mouthful and I know it's an obscure character but hey it's a nice looking Alpha Robe, it's a nice looking Hades looking figure even though it, I thought it was Hades but it's actually an Odin Warrior. Odin's God Warriors of that and this is actually a video request from Le Evil O Meok O Lisandro and I'm sorry if I got that wrong I don't speak Leet sorry <laughs> that's all right but let's go ahead and take a look at this let me go ahead and move these things out of the way and that's all right because I'm just going to review the box for now man nice looking box I have this in the plastic because I want to protect the box it's a good looking box uh, as you can see I love the artwork on there the little armor stand and uh, you can see alpha rope on the side here so let's see the back here. He looks like a like, pretty intimidating figure. And this is like Odin, the God Warrior. And of course, a, if you can see over here, the little dual-headed, I don't, I don't know mythology, so Hydra, whatever. The little dude with the hat. I love that dude. I don't know why. This came back in 1988. So let's go ahead and move on. Oh, also in this, it has a neat little thing. So if you were around in 1988, you can get all these characters. So they're neat, man. I wish I was around. I would have been able to select. Like I recognize Shun there. Shun's a very recognizable character. That's our boy Alpha Robe. And, you know, Seda Robe. And I don't know who this girl is, but that's okay. So you got different robes over here. This thing, this guy over here looks pretty pimpin'. And, of course, the Gold Saints. Man, there are so many of them. I didn't know there were that many. And back in the day, you could have gotten an accessory with a belt and a tiara or whatever. I don't, sorry, St. Seiya fans, I don't know too much about this. And, of course, I guess it was accepted to wear booty shorts that, sh <laughs> shorts that short back in the day. Uh, it was back in 1988, so, hey, what can you say? All right, but let's go ahead and review these figures. Nice looking figures, as always. Uh, one of the same things about St. Seiya that I like about them is that they are, have very nice looking figures. What can I say? Let's go ahead and review this real quick. These things are about four and a half inches long or four and a half inches tall. So you've seen them before. I'm not going to put them into scale because they're, they're, if you've seen my other reviews, you pretty much know how big they are. I love this uh, burgundy looking, uh, what do you call that, suit that the guy is wearing. Dube Siegfried, Alpha, Alpha Siegfried. For articulations, the same. Ball jointed necks, doesn't move too much. Same ugly paint apps with the green eyebrows with the green uh, eyes. So these are trademarks, the uh, the mullet. So they're pretty much standard, pretty ugly on the facial painting. Good looking shoulder that moves in and out, side to side, or goes 360, bicep swivel, jointed elbow crunch or finger crunch, which is cool. Of course, uh, just a ball jointed on the torso, no waist articulation, even though it looks like it. Double jointed knee and a waist, or sorry, a heel, sorry, not heel, ankle, ball jointed ankle. And of course, these things are die cast, so it's, he's heavy, so he's meant to be stood up. Now, let's go ahead and show the armor stand. Armor stand does have a little bit of articulation, but the armor stand wasn't meant for that. He looks like a traditional armor stand. As you can see, the darker bits right here, and there goes his arm, darker bit right there are the die cast parts and if it's plastic it'll be nice and shiny and he has a lot of articulation his waist does swivel so maybe when I take all this armor off I'll show you that so let's go ahead and take all this armor and let's get all that off there we go he's got a ton of armor and the wings do flap in and out so that's okay the tail they got a, a tail piece really the tail piece is only there just to augment the figure there we go Take out the gauntlets. So let's go ahead and start forming this bad boy right now before we get too much into this and get these parts out of the way. Okay, so this guy's pretty awesome, as you can see in the back of the figure here. So let's go ahead and take a look. He does come with extra pieces, which I have not figured out what they're for. So let's go ahead and form this thing out. First thing we're going to pop up are the arms. As I mentioned before, the arms do go up side around, but hey, it's just an armor stand. Who cares? Take off the waist piece here. All right. Okay, here we go. Oh, and for articulation, for the armor stand, does go up and down if you really care about that. All right, let's get start forming with this bad boy. First, we're going to put this waist piece over here. All right, there we go. 
great looking bulky already and I understand he needs these big feet because he's going to be what's the word for it he's going to need those big feet so he can support all that extra weight that these monumental armor has all right so we got the torso over here pretty awesome so there we go Get that torso piece right here. Yeah, it's kind of weird how that fits. Kind of, <laughs> there we go. Torso piece just like that. And that is for the wings that are coming up. So I'm going to put the wings last because they look like they're going to impede. Well, also, I'm going to go ahead and slip on his helmet. There we go. Yeah, Birdman Alcatraz here. So, not bad looking so far. Let's go keep on doing this. We got plenty of work ahead of us. Gauntlet, as always. No, that's all right. Gauntlets are, it's actually one of the more painful figures. So, you know how I like, I like these figures, but these this guy is especially painful. So, he's not going to get nearly as good a grade as all the others, no matter how awesome he looks. Okay. Let's see. We got the gauntlets. I'm sorry, not the gauntlets, but the greaves go right there. All right, not so bad. Oops, my mistake, I got the wrong one here. <laughs> These are the greaves right here. Those are the top portions right here. That goes up here. All right, not so bad looking. Armor looks pretty nice, no doubt. All right, more greaves and more thigh portions. And of course, I don't know too much about armor, so you got to tell me what the heck those things are. All right, not too bad over here. Put these pieces. These aren't die cast, so all, everything he has except for the helmet is made of die cast. So we put this on the on the shoulder right there. All right, looking good so far. Not not bad. And the thing about these shoulders is the one on the one on the right does have a place for his. Yeah, we're just going to remove that, and that way we can put this pimp in. Yeah, there we go. We're just going to go ahead and put that in there. So now, yeah, pretty awesome. And let's straighten out his head. There we go. Yeah, he's ready for battle. And of course, last but not least, is give him his awesome wings. Still a pretty awesome figure, you know, he's not bad looking, what can I say? As I mentioned before, for size, he is about four and a half inches, looking good. As he, Unfortunately, he is tarnished because the old, uh, this metal right here used to be silvery, but this thing was released in 1988, so pretty much, he's looking pretty good, four and a half inches. I'll give him an eight out of ten, slightly less worse than my other ones because of how painful it is to actually transform them. But he is great. I forgot to mention that the detail on the on the dragon's head, they had the yellow paint. And of course, not too bad. Not a bad looking figure. He is an Odin's God Warrior. Definitely looking awesome. So we'll give him that much. Alright, that's all I got YouTubers and I'll catch you all next time.